call uh, UN to chuck iPods, or even as Nigeria be sovereign state, say UN even get the rights or get the, uh, the ability to even say, okay, make we even see what they they do for there. But uh, not be we go answer all these questions because uh, we get better guests we go join us via Zoom to talk um, as it be. Go tell us uh, which kind level, which kind level UN get to so either the Gofi Chuk I or as Nigeria we will be. We didn't think about that level. And Yusef, go first call us and uh, tell us as you take see the matter. Now, Achike Chude will be vice chairman, joint action front. Now, you go follow us, talk this matter this morning. And in day with us uh, via Zoom. Okay, good morning, no? Good morning. Aha, we greet you, sir. We thank you, say you uh, take our time to join us. Uh, we don't say you're supposed to be here with us, but uh, because of some kind things, now we say we could just sharply do them um, online, making no loss. My uh, day here with uh, Chukudi um, uh, Ochuko and uh, Precious, who we'll go yarn the matter with you this morning. So uh, we could just look um, at the situation on ground now, uh, because Nigeria and they concerned. This is now waiting we uh, all of us go face in 2023. And PDP don't come out, talk this one. How you take see this matter first of all? Say PDP decide say okay, may they go tell you where may they chuck eye for our elections. Well, no be no be new thing where where the PDP person no be new request and the thing no really this strange. Mm. You know, unless unless it can't be like uh, you get some things where they don't notice some kind of work work away they feel say uh, APC fit use. Uh, to win power by all means, mm. you know, maybe not that kind of reason they make the man they talk. Because if not to talk about uh, United Nations, not just United Nations, many different countries for the world, they show interest now for elections where they happen for other places, yes. especially for Africa, Latin America, all those kind of places. And I know, because uh, me, I be election observer, you know, I, I be on that one for Anambra State, or mm. those state, Kogi State, the one for Kiti State and all that. So, and then we the drum under the Nigeria Civil Society Situation Room. And, you know, we don't take away some people, whether United Nations or United States, uh, USAID or uh, British uh, Council or whatever, they don't they show interest for the election. They don't take away, they don't they show interest. No, because the interest will be just on election day, they go waka. Because on election day, they, they waka up and down. You understand? And then they get meeting with us. For instance, when we don't do, uh, we we'll go out in the morning for election, they come back, we we'll get meetings. Some of them will join us. And not be just Europeans. Uh, we get people from Africa, from West Africa, Africa, West Africa, uh, you know, they, they send uh, different countries from West Africa, they, they send representatives for the election, and African Union self, mm. you know, they also involve, when they get meeting with them, they, they, they self, they, they go out for a field to also monitor the situation, you know, and that, that now the reason why at the end of the day, when we self don't monitor election, we give our report. The other people self, uh, uh, um, NDI, uh, and uh, the other party, uh, NRC or so for US, they go also give their own report. Then the British will also give their report. Why did they do it? Because they, they spend plenty of money, they, they spend plenty of money to strengthen NGOs for Nigeria mm -hmm. to make sure, say, they serve good, they strong enough, make the monitor elect, make the observe election, and then to also give their own report. Then they do all kinds of trainings with the money where they send to them. Mm -hmm. You know, so not be today. And you know, even mm -hmm. though the call now for United Nations, you know, but United Nations they work through some of these organizations to make sure say uh, things go go work out well, you know, mm -hmm. for the country and for most other you know countries where they do election. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. Mr. Achike, I would like to flow this one in. So far, so good. We know the way you and the always involve for Nigeria electoral process as um, observers. They always want to look. But even in midst of some of the irregularities we the always they see when they come out of the elections, but it be like say you don't get a norm where you and the always they come out. Free and fair, it was good, everything is nice. But the big question we say, you and really get what they want to do if um, irregularities the day the election, you get what they feel really do. What did they do? No, you, yeah, you see, you see, uh, you know, say when I talk of uh, UN, I also talk about other organs where they, they use those to monitor indirectly. Mm. Sometimes they send representatives, sometimes. They go use other bodies, other organizations, associations, whether for America, for Britain, for Africa. Also work with them, make they see within how they go supervise the election, how no, how they go, you know, uh, observe the election, you know. So they, they do other one, but you see, 
Uh, and sometimes, not every, every election, they say he good, he fair, he free, he de credible. For 1999, some of the international bodies will come Nigeria, especially the Americans. And so, talk say that election get many uh, 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 command. You know, so for waiting, the UN, they do be say, they go encourage participation. They go encourage, you know, a peaceful exercise of uh, election. They go do all of those things. They go talk to political leaders. They go of all, most of the parties, especially the major parties. They go talk to the president, you know, to make sure, say, to tell and say, look, you get responsibility to make sure, say, the election day free and fair because now your head go carry them if anything bad happen. So they do all this. But whether, you know, if election day bad or the election do, they go, they go do something. That one, no be for them to do something. Because people don't they talk all this way, say, Africa, not be able to come save Africa from, from, from you know, uh, for Africa. Say that Africans themselves go save Africa. You know, so many people don't talk, I'm expert, consultant, and so on. Say, ultimately, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they go do the one way they go. But for you, whether Africa go better, whether Nigeria go better, the thing there for the hands of the people. And that's what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're supposed to wake up. No, say, the only thing we don't suppose they do for us, not to help us along the way. You know, so then they, they, they now we go do one because now our country. Now we get stay for this country parts, those people. Because when they come, they go, we go remain here. Mm. So that is that is the issue. So now our duty and our responsibility to make sure, say, we do the right thing, to make sure, say, even when they get all this vote by, after all the vote by now, you and the encourage people make they come to vote by. Now we they do vote by. Not true. You, you understand? Uh, and we know the, the, the implication of vote by. So now we need to stop some of these things where they happen. But that one not be say everything we go with they do not good for us. But this is another argument for another day. Hmm. You know? Hmm. All right. All right. So uh, we just want to uh, remind on say yes, on our still call us and uh, on our uh, send uh, on our questions via WhatsApp and call us immediately. Make we hear what you get to think. Uh, we'll hear what you think about this matter where uh, PDP don't come out, put out. So say at least make you and Chuk I for our uh, forthcoming elections. Now, one of the conversations um, uh, or Ajikina uh, say, now PDP, they make this request. And this is now one of the concerns where Nigerians, they look at. Say, no, not be say, oh, not be people way new to this thing. Now, when on ourselves, they uh, not be say everything pure like that. So why be saying that no, now? No, yeah. Oh, now they come talk this one. How you take see that matter as well? No, no, I don't see. I don't see anything wrong with them. Make I tell you something. Mm. PDP gets every right apart from fact. Say they say they be stakeholder for this election. Mm -hmm. You understand? So anybody fit talk them, any political party fit talk them. Say make election day free and fair. Mm. Because after all, P APC be they talk the same thing. Ah, PDP want to PDP want to do this one, want to do mm. want to do so. Ah, but the major reason where the deputy chairman of uh, uh, PDP mm. get, you know, in get moral standing to make that talk. Mm. Nobody say everything they rosy rosy under the PDP. You get, you get some elections, for instance, for 2023, 2027, where they horrible. Mm. But maybe we not forget, say, when Yaradua come in, Yaradua start the electoral reform. He set up the OIS committee. And Yaradua himself talked to the election will bring and come to power. Mm. You understand, know, say, he gets some comma. So this one admission, say, we self know that that was, that thing been day very good. Say, if somebody go admit, say, I think coming to power, I get comma. But, be, but the most important thing, we say now PDP, under PDP, they arrange the election will come them for power. Mm. Just, and so now there, now there, the PDP spokesman go. Whether if APC, as they, they, as they, they do, whether if they actually defeat APC for yeah, election, go come whether APC go do what they themselves do, I got they come for power. Okay, again, yeah. not to cut you, we get one call from Miriam. Maybe we'll take her sharply, then we'll come back to you. Miriam. Hello. Hello, Miriam, you did there? Be like, say she no deal. Miriam, you did there? Yes, I'm here. I'm uh -huh. here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Miriam. Yes, I'm obedient to the call. I'm not a PDP member. But <laughs> I am adding my voice to that of PDP for the UN to come and support us during this election. They should come with drones. Not minding the threat of last time. Governor Erubai said they will move them in body bags. I don't think that will happen here. Hmm. Please, they should come in with drones and come and monitor this election. It's very important to us. 
I'm doing this not because of me, because of my children. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miriam, Thank you. for your contribution. Thank you, Thank you a lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, Ogachike, you don't hear what Miriam talk. Um, just like they will yeah. talk now. Um, if to say that and maybe any other political party, the smaller political parties, who understand, say, oh, um, then they, they, they won't make it be, say, something they clean and clear. But understand me, say, even as you talk, now PDP, Nine be the people will hold the election, will also commode them for power and all that. You yeah, see some yeah. G3. If you said they G3 in any way. So, you no, know, you say whether who they G3? The PDP, then they G3. No, no, they think they G3 because you see, they understand the power as well government gets. Do you understand? Hmm. They, that's why I talk about, you know, say it, it, the PDP also do some magumago in 2023 and 20, 2007, uh, 2003, 2007. But after that, they begin to embark on a reform to make the election better. You understand? And that will not be say we also go, go give Buhari some credit because at least he don't sign the electoral law after That's too right. much pressure. He don't sign them. So that means say hopefully he wants some things to change. Civil society organizations don't really struggle, don't really battle to ensure say we will get better electoral reform. Mm. You know, but a lot now can't be for the hand of the PDP, I mean or the hand of the uh, APC and uh, INEC. Whether because government get plenty influence, if it, you know, uh, get, if it influence election the way no other party fit influence and mm. because now then they age. Thank you, Why you think, say, if you look at local government election for this country, now 99% sometimes is 100% victory with the ruling party they mm. get for across the states. True. And not be fair, if you look at all of these local governments, all of them are rubbish, they don't they do anything, roads, no good, markets, no good, <laughs> nothing. So how come the party? You know, where they empower for those states, now then they get 100%. Hmm. Oh. So that uh, is uh, 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 just, help, just help us for some small. It. Help us for some small. Yeah. We could take Mommy Precious call. We'll come back to that. Hello, Mommy Precious. Hello. Hello, she did yeah. Okay, be like, say, Mommy, Mommy Precious, go call us back. I beg, call us back. Make you drop your own contribution, man. We would like to hear okay, from you. Okay, we'll go back to Oga Achike. If they talk something, make you just land them. Okay. You know, and, so, and, and, yeah, and another thing where I want to be say, you know, I think when Marian called, she said something about body bags. Okay. Um, you know, uh, because... Uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I got you, I say the guest, the caller don't call back. Hello, madam. Okay. okay. Hello. Uh, hey, mommy Precious, welcome. Uh, well, good morning. We're there with you. Good morning. Hello? We're there with yeah, you. Good Go morning. Ahead. Go ahead. No, nothing that bad for, for the UN to come and run to our election. Mm -hmm. After all, you know, when first day, when when believe day, trust the day. When you, when I, when I trust you, anything you say, I will believe you. Mm -hmm. Election went on to happen for past. If you like say trust, not call day. If you like say from you they happen for the election. So they can't help us monitor. I not mean you go you go win the election. Anybody mm -hmm. can win the election, but it's good for them to come and monitor it for us. Okay. So Thank you. It's a welcome idea. All Thank right. you, mommy. Thank Precious. You. We get That's another call person. again. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Hello? Hello. We did hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. Uh -huh. Please. Can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. Yes, Caleb. Uh -huh. Please, uh, I want to join the PDP in, in also calling that the, the UN should in put, my, put mm. eyes mm. in this because election rigging is a problem in this country. That's the reason why they are selecting bad, bad leaders. We are having bad leaders today because they will maneuver the election. They are not, we are not the ones that voted for them. So please, you and everybody that loves Nigeria to support us. Let us make sure that they flush away these evil people that are coming in and suffering innocent Nigeria. And what, one of the worst part of it is that the literate ones are now maneuvering the, the, the learned ones. Please, let all Nigeria open eyes. Let's say no to this evil that is happening in this country. That's my contribution. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, so, Oga, um, Oga Chike, you don't hear the contribution of everybody we call in. And when yeah. you be the talk, yeah. you be mention um, the fact that Oga Prezilo don't sign the 2022 Electoral Act into law. You feel, say, this new Electoral Act go feel help us get a better election come 2023? See, our elections, they day cleaner and cleaner. Make we just say, because I don't tell you, I know they just talk for me. You know, make it be say, make I just talk. I day fulfilled with the monitor election. Mm. That will not mean say every election they day perfect. You understand? For instance, the one for Kitty State, 
the state gets some issues since we are the uh, voting uh, with the machines mm -hmm. about uh, the beaver's machine you know failed in about or malfunction in about 24 percent of all the places where we visit where we get people mm -hmm. that means say you work for about 76 percent that one I improved by, but not be said the 20 to 24 percent um function in way do say we will accept that so don't make a recommendation to NXC they need to improve because the one election where they do for Abuja municipal council elections that one been they very very bad mm -hmm. uh, you know so now that, that one at least that one are positive and after that election for Kiti State all of us go Abuja they invite us so they invite the rec residential electoral commissioner for Osho State because that one at the next election where they will do so we can't ask some questions waiting you don't do waiting 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 give us an idea of what you don't do so he can they you know list everything where we can do in with some of his officials being the president for that meeting you know and we can't tell them say at least it takes some people where they don't achieve for a kitty state it is not uh uhuru as they say 100 percent but you must make sure say you're going to improve them now for instance the issue of police for for a kitty state they do well mm -hmm. by nine o'clock about 100 percent of the polling units get security about uh maybe 85 percent of uh of uh, INEC officials, they on ground okay. by nine eight thirty by nine nine o'clock. The thing don't increase. This was an improvement. Okay. But in terms of vote buying, we also see say police people they active in 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 action assuring say vote buying go occur. They know arrest people. They were part of the collusion also okay. themselves. So okay. these you are the things so we take yes. this caller. Make we take this caller. Hello, good morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, be like say in long go. Okay, um, go ahead, uh, Ogachike. Um, sorry, you know. So, so, so as we see some good aspects of yeah. that of the election itself, we also see the bad. The police, yes, they, they turn out. They were not violent. Mm -hmm. They were civil. They were good. But some of them were aiding and abetting the buying and selling of votes. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so, so that one was also bad. All right. You know, and then people, and then and then I think they tell us today. Uh, then go make sure say where you get heavy concentration of voters of mm -hmm. registered voters. Say they go come out them and set up new polling units mm -hmm. so that they go go there. But we notice say that in no work in all the places because you go get a place now for instance like here where you get one thousand polling uh, one thousand uh, registered voters where mm -hmm. they, where you want vote. Mm -hmm. Then the next uh, yard. Yeah, you go see about 30 for that place, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, so we see all of those things, and we tell them, say, look, this one's not the things where we see. So these are the things where we please say they're supposed to improve upon. Mm. All right, so, um, uh, Ogachude, one of the major concerns where the acting chairman of PDP, Bini, tell you when uh, they talk about the INEC, uh, hope say they go fit, uh, they independent, as their name, they talk, say, um, and they don't get any external influences in the whole election process and things like that. How you take see that one? If you say there are things where they don't they see, where they feel say INEC, not they really independent like that. No, you see, I, I don't talk I'm already. The, one of the first things to I talk is say maybe PDP don't see what we don't see and they don't mm. they know what we don't know. Because see these people are politicians. And politicians is the kind of information that they get sometimes some of us know they get that because now then they do these things by themselves. You know, so all the wahala all they get for election, and the politicians they cause them. And mm. if you remember when Jega, uh, okay, come um, out, uh, uh, when uh, uh, do, Ogachi can just help us wait. Maybe we just take this caller before we lose them. Hey, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you for holding on. Good morning. This is Mazi Eni calling from uh, Ikorodi. You are welcome. Yeah. This so I want to talk about this uh, our Nigerian politician. Oh yeah, no. sharp, sharp. You see, if you check very well, you will know that in Nigeria we don't have government. Why? Because they know when they go there, they will take all their relations, hmm. all their household to abroad. So they'll be manipulating everything, doing everything how they like. They don't even care about us, the masses. Hmm. Our government is supposed to be government for the people, hmm. but this is government for their own pocket. Yeah, so. For before Nigerian politics or government will be okay, it's only when they will give, give pass a law that no top government should take their children abroad, even for medication. Look at what is happening in, in our universities. You pay 1,000 naira for where you are being admitted. Is it not a shame? All right. 
All right. Thank, Thank you, you very well, much. Well, okay. so, you... so it's better Buhari should come out and tell Nigerian youth okay. that he has failed. Hmm. He has okay. failed. You don't have government. Thank you. So, Thank, Nigerian you youth, Thank, Thank you, Ogani. Thank you, Ogani. Thank you, Ogani. But you don't even ask questions. You just add them around. Yeah, maybe hey, he's just put so contribution. He just not really contribution. Now, make us just sharply ask Achike this. Yeah, uh, uh, um, sharply. Um, according to the, the deputy chairman of PDP, when you and come visit them, um, they, they place a demand. They say make you and try to try to um, like put out some of the penalties when it be say if the fortas bring up this now what thing will happen. Now you in any way know some of these these penalties where you and the fit impose on on the fortas on electoral process. You know the election now part of the way to open up the civic space. Civic space just means just means a, you know a situation of governance where civilians also get power to exercise their franchise. So every election is supposed to open up the free civic space, and so you know. Uh, and but sometimes people they violate them. People they do things where they close the civic space. For instance, when you arrest journalists, where they write something, mm. you know, when people they speak the truth, you go they harass them. All the all these things they close the civic space. But you see, for waiting, you know, they at the waiting they don't they tell the, the UNSA it gets some uh, fines or some punishment where they fit impose. Yes, they get. For instance, anybody where they discover say he try to close the civic space. You know, for this election, either either they involve himself for 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 fraud and their manipulation or selling of vote, any of those serious things where where they where they, they see, make they identify the people. If they fit identify the people, then make they make sure say they go use their powerful influence because they get influence to make sure stay first of all they will deny the people you know uh, any movement to any part of the country abroad. Uh, you know, for instance, for Europe, those people where they come for treatment, those who where they send their children uh, <laughs> to school there, they're making sure, say, our university system, know they work and the rest, make you make them difficult and impossible. Say these people go come, you know, enjoy the benefit where they don't, they will get free open space. All right. Civic space. For their All place. right. You know, Koga, I can you yeah. today. I know, say, you get a lot to pour, but time not be really our friend on top of this matter. But we would like to say thank you for your time where you give us to come put uh, to quite explain this to talk and where we're so that our people they will get understanding on UN matter on top Nigeria election. Thank you, Oga Achike Chude. Thank you.